How to create and show simple iOS alert dialogues in Flutter. Generally, you show pop-up dialogues to inform the user that some action was successful, you warn him that some action failed, or you let the user make an important decision by getting his input. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started with the build method, where I have created here this Cupertino button that you also see here on the right side. And if we click on this button, we are going here inside and then we call this method show Cupertino dialog. Inside of it, you call then the method create dialog, where we want to create then a new Cupertino alert dialog widget. Next, you can define the title and content property where you can place any widgets inside. In my case, I put here two text widgets inside. And lastly, you can then supply here the actions. And inside of this actions list, you can then supply one or multiple actions. And with this, I can click here on this button and then we show here this simple iOS alert dialog. However, if I try to click here on this OK button, then nothing is happening. To fix this, we simply go here inside of the onPress handler and here inside you call then the navigator pop method to hide again your dialog if you click on this OK button. Let's try it out and now I click here on OK and you see that our dialog hides again. Instead of one button, you can also display here multiple buttons. So in my case, I put here a yes and also no button inside. And now if I click here on this button, we have then the yes and no button next to each other. Inside the pop method, you can also return a value. So if we click on yes, then we return here true. And if we click on no, then we return here a false. And this value that we have put here inside, we can simply await here at the top where we show then here our dialog. So you can simply await here this method and then you get here this Boolean field back, which I want to print right now to the console. Make sure to click on hot restart and then you can show your dialog again. And if I click now here on yes, then it prints here true to the console. And if I click on no, then it prints here false to the console. And with this, you can basically work then here with this value, what happens if the user has clicked on yes or no. And finally, you can also display here even more buttons inside. So I can also create here a third button maybe. And if I do this, then all of these buttons are displayed under each other. And secondly, we also can retrieve then here the value. So this time you can also put here numbers inside or generally you can put here any object inside that you like. So in this case, one for yes, two for maybe and three for no. Let's go again here up and here we await again this value. This time it's not a Boolean field, instead it is a number and we simply put then here this number inside. Let's also try it out. If I click here on yes, then it returns here the value one in our console. If I click on maybe, then we get the value two. And lastly, if we click here on no, then it returns the value three. And to handle this returned value, you could also use here a switch statement where you go then over each of the cases and then you decide here inside what should happen if you click on these buttons. And finally, dialogues cannot be dismissed on the iOS platform by default if you click here outside of this dialog. However, if you want to dismiss your dialog, then you can also set here this barrier dismissible flag to true. Make sure to click on hot restart and then you can dismiss here your dialog also by clicking somewhere outside of this dialog. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.